And welcome once again to the Thrifty Collector. Today, we're going to go down Nostalgia Row. We're going to open up a 1989 pack of Topps baseball cards. This is what they used to call a cello pack. Had a little bit more cards than a regular pack and also had a see-through wrapper on it. The big card in this year, uh, from this year, was the 1989 Topps Greg Jeffries card. There was so much hype about this guy, whether it was on ESPN, CNN, Sporting News, Sports Illustrated. This guy was projected to break Pete Rose's hit record in under 20 years. Uh, they, literally, they were expecting to hit over 340 every year and be an all-star every year. Unfortunately, that didn't happen. He did have a good career in the 90s, but it wasn't like the hype that everybody anticipated. The, his 1989 card was huge. And when I mean huge, it was like whatever is big right now, that was Greg Jeffries in 1989. What a lot of people forgot back then, he was also in the 1988 score traded set, but this Topps card from 89 was the big card that everybody wanted. Now, there were also a couple other rookie cards in there. You had uh, Greg Biscio, rookie card, kind of a second year because there was also an 88 score traded Greg Biscio, but 89 is considered his rookie card. And you also had a young pitcher named Steve Avery, and Steve Avery was with the Atlanta Braves, a phenom in high school, 18 years old. I think he made it up after one year, or maybe even in 1989, to the big leagues, and unfortunately just threw his arm out. Maybe he was too young. He was used too much at that young of an age. There was also another a local baseball player here named Terry Taylor, who is in this particular set. So it'd be kind of cool to get a Terry Taylor card. I've seen Terry over the years. I've actually asked him if he's ever wanted to do a private signing. He has no interest whatsoever in it. So uh, I'd like to one day get Terry Taylor to at least sign some of the cards I have of his for me, because that would be a great card to have. So let's get right to it. Let's go ahead and open up these, these pack here. It's hard to believe these cards are 35 years old now. So we got Bill Wickinson, Jody Davis, now with the Braves. Jody, Brave, Jody Davis was one of the players that really helped the Braves in the early 90s go from being in the cellar to being in the, uh, the top of the rankings every year. Kurt Wilkinson. Sean Dunstan, Tommy Herr. Tommy Herr actually is very interesting. He played with the St. Louis Cardinals during their World Series run, and he's one of the few guys to have 100 RBIs in one season and less than 10 home runs. I believe he hit eight that year. Uh, unfortunately, his career was very derailed by uh, a pitch that hit him in the head. Johnny Parades, Jim Lideman, recent Hall of Famer Harold Baines. It's actually a nice card, well centered. Tony Phillips, Frank Tanana. Guy is great through the mail. He had a very good career, well over 200 wins. Quite a few strikeouts, well over 2,000 strikeouts. Danny Heap. A great catcher during his time, Lance Parrish, especially with the Detroit Tigers. Larry McWilliams. Paul Runge. Part of the Nasty Boys, Rob Dibble. You know I love them tops rookie trophies. Damon Berryhill. Tom Lawless. Wes Gardner, Gardner, who was part of that trade that brought Calvin Schiraldi from the Mets to the Red Sox, and they faced each other in that 1986 World Series. Bob Kipper. Arginius Salazar, 
Joe Morgan. Jack Lazarko. Todd Burns. Larry Anderson. Now, if you're a Red Sox fan like I am, this name is... You don't like this card. Um, the Red Sox in about 1990, I would say, wanted to get some middle relief pitching. So they traded a young prospect to the Houston Astros for Larry Anderson. I believe Larry Anderson pitched about 20 games for the Red Sox. And the player that they traded to get him was Hall of Famer Jeff Bagwell. One of the most lopsided trades in history. Juan Nevis. Don Baylor. Now, I don't know if a lot of people know this, but Don Baylor actually had the record for most times being hit by pitch in a season. Steve Curry. Kurt Stillwell. Tom Fire. Houston Astros. Team leaders, that's Glenn Davis. Ken Phelps. Tom Bernanski. I actually did forget about one of the rookie cards out of here. Gary Sheffield. Who will probably eventually make it in the Hall of Fame, but it'll be after Bonds, Sosa, McGuire, and Clemens. From everything I read, not the greatest team made in the world. And it's hard to tell in here, but I do remember this card for another reason. He had GS on his two front teeth in diamonds. Ken Oberfell. Dwayne Boos. Phillies leaders with Mike Schmidt. Randy Kramer, Greg Gagne, Fred Tolliver, Auburn's own Greg Olson, who had some pretty good years as a relief player. And I think it's too late to use this car. This was the company store, and he had a chance to win a trip for four to the 1990 spring training camp. So I hope you enjoyed it. That was my 1989. I didn't get the Jeffries, but I did get a Gary Sheffield rookie, which looks nice and clean. So uh, tell me what you think in the comments. Everybody have a great day. Thanks for checking it out. Stay thrifty.